Hi, my name is Catherine Rosen here with Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2013. I'm joined by Frank Delrenzo from r, &R Games, and we're here to talk about Unnatural Selection. Right. So Unnatural Selection, this is a, uh, a card game, uh, kind of a wacky card game. Uh, light, very easy to learn, very uh, quick to play. Uh, you have a, um, a battle arena where your creatures are going to be basically fighting it out and you want yours to be the victor. Yeah. So what's going to happen is, uh, let's say there's three of us playing. Mm -hmm. okay? We have three cards to start with. Right. Uh, if you look at the yellow side, you'll see that we have different creatures. I have a, a woolly mammoth, a wombat, and a giant redwood log. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be useful. Uh, you never know, you know? So I'm going to choose one of these. Uh, I'm actually going to choose my giant red log. You don't know that, but I'm putting it face down in the middle to battle it out in the arena. Now the third person right here, he's not playing in this round. He is the judge of the round. Okay. So he has nothing to do other than wait so that we have played our creatures. Okay, okay. so I play mine. So you play yours, and he's going to take these. He's going to shuffle them up, and he's going to put them. Let's say there's a let's say there's a, another person playing. Yeah. We'll throw one more in. So we have these three creatures come up. A giant redwood log, a witch, and a zombie. Now, this is nice quite company. interesting. Yeah, we have a um, very Halloween y kind of <laughs> collection of people here. Now, this is an interesting battle, but it's going to get a lot more interesting because we all have uh, Monterey X5000 weapons. Okay, this weapon okay. will modify the creatures in the battle as we see fit. And the way we see fit is to turn your hand over to activate your <laughs> yeah. mod ray. This turning of the hand over allows you to see the modifications that you can give. Yeah. Okay. So we, we assume this person over here has a couple, you know, we'll give him a couple yeah. and, and he'll do it at random. So at, at, at will, we just start using our, our weapons and modifying. So I will say that the witch, unfortunately, is frostbitten. Ouch. So she's uh, uncomfortable at, at the least. And you know what? The zombie has no hands. So, oh, that's uh, no fun. Not so good, but uh, he over here is going to make the giant redwood log clingy. And um, the, uh, oh, you know, the zombie, he's oozing. He's, he's definitely not doing too well there. Would you like to use your, your modification? Yeah, let's see. I can make the, uh, the uh, giant redwood has leprosy. <laughs> and uh, the, the witch is nearsighted. Oh, nearsighted. So okay. So gonna... now, now we've all basically spent what we have. Yeah. So, you know, you don't have to use all your cards, but you can. If, they, if you don't use them, they'll pass into the next round. You just, you'll get three more cards each okay. round. But the judge now has to make his decision. He sees the combatants, he sees what's happening, and he will decide. So what's going to happen here, if I was the judge, for example, I would say, well, you know, you've got a zombie, you've got a witch, and a giant redwood log, it's leprosy. So I, I have to say this, uh, that the witch, obviously, is probably going to be able to control the zombie, especially with no hands. She's, uh, she's already nearsighted. She might even think he's human. She's just going to zap him and take out the zombie, just like that. Okay. But... You would think the witch would have no problem against a giant redwood log, but as you can see, I see what appears oh, to be witches' feet under the log. That's a very this, good point. I think this redwood log hates witches. <laughs> I really do. I think he's going to come rolling along in leprous, clingy self and just crush the witch. She's nearsighted. She yeah, doesn't see it coming. She doesn't even see it coming. Very good coming. point. So the giant redwood log is the winner. So this card now goes to the winner. Oh, look at that. I won. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am good at this. What you can I say? You are indeed. But anyway, uh, so you collect this card. If I collect three wins in the battle, I'm going to win overall. So you just keep playing rounds until someone's collected three cards. You can play to more cards. Some people play to five, you know, what have you. All right. So that's the basic game. There's, I, I don't know, almost 200 different character cards in here. And each card has, is, you know, double-sided. One is the, the creature and one, and one is, is the, you know, the uh, modification. Yeah, exactly. So there's tons of variety in this game, tons of replay value. Yeah. But that's not all. Ooh. This also comes with the, uh, the challenge cards. There's a, a set of double-sided challenge cards. So there's different challenges on each side. Uh, and you can pick one at random and choose that to be the advanced uh, uh, challenge for the battle. So the judge will have to look to see, for example, which one will be the best house pet at grandma's, okay? Or it might be the first to get a job as a circus act. Or nice. it might be uh, the hardest to taxidermy. 
So yeah. it's a you know it just adds <laughs> a lot more fun variety into the game and you know another little twist. In the the redwood might win at that one too. I think he would have won at that <laughs> one. Yeah. So I pick my creature as well. Indeed, you do. <laughs> so that that's a natural selection in a nutshell. Very quick, very easy. A lot of fun. A lot of laughs. Yeah. So definitely. You know. Thank you. No problem. So that was uh, a natural selection from R&R yep. Games? And that's, I believe, uh, Ken Gruel and Quentin Weir. So this is How many players is it for? This, I believe, goes up to 10 players, I think. Yeah, three to 10. to 10 players. Three to 10. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't play it in two. It's kind of boring, too. Yeah. So. But definitely uh, works uh, great with a group, big group. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome.